guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making a bee house out of bamboo and wood. I'm gonna show you how we do that, where we put it, and some good practices that go along with that. So stick around, hopefully you enjoy this, you learn something, and you're mildly entertained. So we're down here in the workshop to cut up our bamboo. The reason we're using it is because it's got these little holes for little bees to make their little homes. You wanna use a fine tooth blade to cut these up so that you're not snagging it and tearing up your bamboo. I'm not gonna have enough bamboo to fill the entire space for what I'm planning. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some other things, but it's much easier for me to show you than to tell you. So let's just get down to it. Okay, our pieces are cut. This is five by five piece with a 45 at the top meeting at the corners. This is a three and a half by five piece mitered at a 45 at the top. This is a three and a half by six and a half inch piece for our base. For our roof, we have a three and a half by five and three quarters piece and a three and a half by five piece. And the reason for that is this right here is three quarters of an inch. So when they come together, they will sit like that. I'm not gonna bother mitering that edge. This is a bee house. So let's glue it up using some tight bond three. It's good exterior grade wood glue. There it is. So while that dries, we're gonna go find a bamboo substitute since we don't have enough bamboo. And then once it dries, we'll put that roof piece on, glue that all up and fill her up. So I have, oh, hi. <laughs> so I have cut some pieces, varying sizes, off of this branch that fell down. Well, we took it down. I'm gonna take this big piece, cut it off downstairs on the bandsaw, and then uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So there's our frame all glued up. I'm going to start by dry fitting these pieces in here and then we'll take it apart and we will glue it up. Glue all these little pieces in here. We're just going to do this randomly different sizes as we go.
Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. As you can see, I ended up using some PEX pipe. It adds a little bit of color. I ran out of um, bamboo and other stuff, so it works. It serves the purpose. You don't have to do a house shape like I did. You could just do a box. You can nail it together and fill it with a bunch of different porous things that those little bees can get into. Now, I have it set right here so that it gets some of that morning sun, warms up a little bit, gets those little bee butts going. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There it is. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.